Pull back. Pull back. Oh. God damn. There's Somebody's two. coming in the middle. He's right here. God damn it, really? Oh, coming in the middle. I'm behind. One right here. Answers right here. She's gonna teabag. Bag that bitch. What is going on, everyone? Griffin here, coming at you with the very first impressions of Runway. So let's head over and check it out. So if you are subscribed to the channel or if you have watched any of the previous videos talking about Runway, you know just as well as everyone else that's seen those videos that I'm not particularly excited about Runway being released into the game. I felt at announcement that she was very, very underwhelming as a character, and I thought that the developers could do way, way better. And in my opinion, some of that is the same, and some of it has actually changed. My opinion of it has changed slightly. So this is my first impressions video. This is no, you know, not a final thoughts. This is not a full review of the character. Let's run through a kit for a second and we will kind of talk about each little thing, you know, piece by piece. So with the ability, with the ability to throw the briefcase out and you and another person or two other people to hit it is very, very good on paper. And I think that they had a gigantic missed opportunity here to do something really unique and something that was really, really cool in the game itself, but it feels like everything else that they've done, it's just a huge missed opportunity. Um, I talked about this on the broadcast, but I also want to say it here. What I'd rather them have done would be anybody that hits the briefcase, it refreshes their ability. So for example, we're going to use Trench. Trench throws two barbed wires out. He runs over, hits the briefcase. He has two more barbed wires. Uh, Vi throws both of her poisons out. She goes by, hits the briefcase. She's got two more poisons. You use the Ronin dart and throw it. Go back to the briefcase. You hit it. You get the Ronin dart. Yes, this would require some major, major balancing. Yes, this would require the briefcase to act a little bit differently and possibly limit it to only maybe one person using it as opposed to two. But I think having the actual benefits of someone on your team other than you getting their ultimate ability back and being able to capitalize on that ultimate ability specifically in demolition would actually change the tides of the game itself and i think that that alone would have been a really really interesting way to have this character be released unfortunately they didn't do that unfortunately you only get max ammo which you really don't need in demolition and you get your equipment refilled which is kind of cool but you know at the same time it's just like it is what it is you know it's it's not great but it's not bad it's just average it's very average uh, her passive ability being able to use both of her primary weapons is really cool and really interesting but one of the issues that i have constantly had while trying to use her is where i have my assault rifle out and then i think i have my sniper rifle out when i'm behind cover or vice versa when i'm not really paying attention to the character herself i'm more or less paying attention to the environment around me i see someone in a very you know unfortunate situation you go to pull up on them and you have one weapon that you don't really want on in your hands at that particular moment and you either miss the shot or you just whiff it and you just mess it up very, very badly. And in the situations that I've had, it results in you being killed or downed. It would be really nice if they would go in and actually change what the reticle for the sniper rifle looked like. They could, if it was anything other than a crosshair, it would be fine. Even if it was a crosshair with very distinct, a very distinct look to it. And I know a lot of people's like, well, it is a crosshair, but it's bigger. Yeah, but... I'm not looking at that whenever I'm looking at the environment around me. What I would like to do is a quick glance to see exactly what she has in her hand. Well, I know that I can look at the bottom right hand side of the screen and see which weapon is currently equipped, but it would be nice to see a very on screen visual representation other than looking at the character and looking at the bottom right hand of the screen to actually see what weapon that you have on your hand so that whenever you're looking at the environment and you're looking further up than your character is, then you don't have to take that time to actually look down at the bottom corner of your screen to see what weapon that you currently have in your hand. 
I know that that is just kind of a minor gripe, but to me, it feels like it is a very unfortunate thing whenever you think you have one weapon in your hand, and in reality, you have a completely different weapon. As far as her perks, I think her perks are fine. I think that, you know, it's good to give her headstrong instead of um, life drain. I think that that was the right choice on the side of the developers. And a lot of her perks actually do complement the way that she plays in her kit very, very well. As far as her um, equipment or her, you know, grenades, the sticky grenade is very, very nice to be able to push in to get that finishing blow if you snipe someone or if you hurt someone very badly with the Hydra. But I, I, it would have been nice if they would have traded out the trip mines with another piece of, you know, tactical equipment, in my opinion. I think that the trip mines are fine, and I think that they make a lot of sense on someone like Trench. But to me, it would have been way better, in my opinion, to have smoke grenades or tear gas grenades or something like that where you can actually capitalize on using your sniper rifle in conjunction with that passive piece of uh, equipment, that tactical equipment, and the trip mines really don't serve that purpose unless you are majorly, majorly blocking off a specific area where you could possibly get flanked from, but there are usually multiple flank routes in any map, so you're not going to be able to exactly predict how you're going to be flanked and where to put those trip mines up. For the Hydra, I think that the Hydra is a decent assault rifle. It is very different and it is very easy to miss a lot of shots because of how slow that it fires. But I think all in all, it feels really good. I think that in the future, they'll probably nerf a little bit of the damage off of it again. And they'll actually reduce some of the kick of it so that it gives people a little bit more consistent feel to it. And it honestly wouldn't surprise me if in the future they left it the way it was and they actually increased the fire rate of the weapon itself. That is something that could actually happen. I think that it's fine as is. I think that it's something that throws a nice little learning curve in there. But... I think that enough people are going to complain about it where they actually go in there and you know increase the fire rate or do something like that to make it feel a little bit more consistent over time as far as a sniper rifle it's a sniper rifle it is what it is we've got it on one rogue already this is another rogue that's going to have access to the sniper rifle it would have just been really really cool if they would have gave her a different sniper rifle Honestly, I would have preferred her if she had an SMG or a shotgun, but if they were going to give her a sniper rifle, I wish that they would have just put a different sniper rifle in the game altogether. So those are my opinions of being able to play her. Overall, I think that she is a very fun and interesting character to use. I think that there has been a lot of missed opportunities with this character's release, especially it being as significant as it is releasing with the weapon mastery and what her background in the game, you know, what her bio actually is. And it would have been nice if they would have capitalized on that and made it that much more impactful. But we got what we got. It's like a lot of the rogues that's been released in the game. You could take each one of them that has been released, you know, post game release, post beta release. And you can nitpick and you can actually see that there's a lot of downsides to a lot of these characters that they could have done differently or done better and it would have made those those characters a thousand times better. That's my opinion of it. Be sure to let me know what you think of Runway in the comment section down below. Are you enjoy playing her or do you think that she's just another rogue that you're going to, I don't know, maybe get the weapon mastery on and be done with it or get the rogue mastery and probably not ever pick her up again? Or do you think that she's really fun and you're going to potentially main her in the future? Be sure to let me know. Also, be sure to check the description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys.